Hi everyone, my name is Mahima. I'm an international student navigator at Red Deer Polytechnic. And like many of you, I was also an international student. So I thought, why not share some insight on what to do after you've been accepted at RDB. First of all, congratulations. We are glad you chose RDB and we look forward to meeting you. Throughout this video, I'll be covering a few topics for a successful start at RDB um, after you've been accepted. In this video, we'll be discussing about paying your tuition deposit, accessing your letter of acceptance, applying for a study permit, registering for classes, purchasing your textbooks and course material, foundations for success, an online course for RDP international learners, prepare for arrival in Canada, and how to stay connected to RDP international team through emails, upcoming events, and social media. Throughout this video, I'll be using the word your loop account. The loop is an internal student portal used by RDP students and is your key access to RDP. It is where you access your grades, your schedule, your unofficial transcripts, and pay your tuition. The loop account can be accessed right from the website by clicking here. Okay, so let's begin. Your first step after being accepted to RDP would be to secure admission and get your letter of acceptance. And for that, you need to make sure that you pay your tuition deposit as soon as possible. Information on how to pay your tuition deposit can be found from our website by following the steps shown. Access the loop and follow the instructions to complete the payment. Number one, log into the loop, click on the Money Matters tab, and then select International Tuition and Fees. Go to the International Payment section and click on the Flywire link. Follow the instructions provided by Flywire to complete the payment. From here, once RDP has received your tuition deposit, which would typically take five to six business days, you'll be able to download your letter of acceptance, also known as LOA, right from your loop account under the application section. After you have received your LOA, we recommend you all to start gathering all your important documents to apply for a study permit for Canada as soon as possible. Visit the Government of Canada's official website for more information on the study permit application process. This is a great resource to make sure that you have all your documents in line. Students are responsible for ensuring that their study permit is valid at all times of study. While applying for a study permit, you must also apply for a co-op work permit if your program includes work experience as a mandatory part of the curriculum. This will be indicated on your LOA in box number 24. Information for the same can be found on work as a co-op student on intern on Government of Canada's official website. Uh, ahead from here, let's start preparing for your studies at RDP. The first step to begin your studies at RDP was to is to register for your classes and this can be done again from your loop account. So I can give you a little sneak peek on how to register for classes. To register for classes again log into your loop account and in the right hand side menu you can see registrations. Click on registrations and just follow the steps over there to register for classes. While registering for classes, Academic Planning Guide is a great resource. This document suggests what courses you should register in and assist RDP students with creating their course schedule based on their program of study and transfer destinations if applicable. Here's an example on how to find the Academic Planning Guide. On the RDP main page, search Academic Planning Guide, click on the programs that you're taking and read through it as you register for classes. Once you register for classes, you will be able to see your tuition fee for the term in your loop account. It is student's responsibility to pay the entire term balance for the term before the fee deadline to avoid getting dropped from the term. You can pay your tuition fee by following the same process as you did to pay your tuition deposit using Flywire through your loop account. Okay, so you are prepared for your studies at RDP by paying for your tuition fee and to register for your classes. Ahead of this, now what Mahima? Well, let's get you prepared for your classes at RDP. For same, you need to get your textbooks and your course material. And I can give you a walkthrough of where you can find your textbooks and your course material for your classes. To find out more about what books and course materials you need for your classes, go to RDP's main page and search up Campus Store. Shop online anytime and visit the Campus Store and follow the steps shown in the video. RDP International recommend all our international learners to have all their books and course material by the first week of classes to successfully meet the class requirements as they start their student journey. 
Okay, before you begin your studies at RDP, I would also like to introduce one of our self-directed learning course, specially offered for our international learners to help them settle a bit better in Canada, in the Canadian learning culture, in Red Deer and in Central Alberta. The course is called Foundations for Success. Um, it's an online module that is available through the Blackboard for all international learners. It has a blend of live sessions offered by the RDP international team, um, self-directed modules and uh, in-person orientation for all of you. Um, this is a mandatory course for all international learners and should be completed by them before they arrive in Canada and in RDP. While traveling to Canada, make sure that you have all your required documents to support your travel. For more information on traveling to Canada, visit Study Permit Prepare for Arrival. While the required documents can vary from a student to student, some important documents listed by IRCC include a travel document such as your passport, your study permit approval, the letter of acceptance, proof of funds to support your stay in Canada, and a valid immigration medical exam result sheet. For information on housing, go to RDP International webpage and click on Housing for International Students. We have listed some options available to international learners as they come to Canada. A few of them could include on-campus housing, off-campus housing, homestay and short-term accommodations. You can also apply from the, for the residence by clicking on the link over here and following the instructions provided. Along with this, we also have an airport transportation document listed right on our website to help students arrange their travel from the international airports to Red Deer when they first arrive in Canada. Okay, as I go towards the end of this video, the last thing on my list would be to stay connected with the RDP International team through emails, upcoming events, and through our social media. We, the RDP International team, provide specialized advising and programming to support international students throughout their studies so make sure to read through your emails we send to you for any updated information and attend our upcoming events. It is a great way to connect with the community and your fellow international students. Connect with us on Instagram at RDP International and visit our website regularly for any updates. So, and this brings me to the end of the small guide of what to do after you've been accepted at Red Deer Polytechnic as an international student. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to email us at international at rdpolytech.ca or book an appointment with us. We do both virtual and in-person appointments. Um, but yes, that's all I have for you today. So we look forward to seeing you on the campus. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.